guys hope you're doing well today it's been a while since i've posted a products i've hit pan on video and i think i've gathered enough products to do another video i have mostly eyeshadows but i have a couple face products as well so let's get into it First, I'm going to start off with face products because I only have, I think, two of them. First one is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiris. And this is a beautiful peachy pink blush. And guys, look at that pan porn right there. I have hit a ton of pan on this blush, and I love this shade so much. It's currently my only blush I have in my collection, and I think I'll be done with it within the next couple months. It is an ombre blush, so it's more peachy up here and more pink down here, and I can wear this with any look. I love this shade so much, and the formula is really nice as well. Here is a swatch of it. It is a very light blush, so if you have a skin tone that is lighter than a light skin tone then this would not work for you i think it would look a little bit ashy on you or just not show up unfortunately they definitely need to expand their line of blushes for this one i think their other blushes are pretty pigmented and they lean more darker but for this ombre blush line they are very very light but i love this blush so much and i'm happy i fit pan on it the other face product that i fit pan on is my elf shimmer highlighting powder and this is in the shade pearl glow and i just had a tiny bit of pan on this one it's very, very tiny, as you can see here, but I feel like the pan is very shallow, which is why I hit pan on this very quickly, because I've only had it, I think, since, like, September or so, but it's nice because it does have a nice mirror here. I have my fingerprints all over it, so I need to clean it, but here is a swatch of it. It is gorgeous. It is somewhat similar to Pearl from Becca, but I feel like it is less cool-toned. This is a beautiful highlighter on my skin. If you have a fair to light skin tone, this is a really awesome highlighter. I think it is fairly expensive for e.l.f. I think it's between like $8 or $10. But I love this product. It's gorgeous. And I didn't expect this to be so good, but it is. I fit pan on a cream shadow. And this is the Ulta Beauty Cream Shadow. And this is in the shade Smoky Quartz. This is what the packaging looks like. And here is how much pan I've hit on it. So I've already hit the side on it. I've had this only for a few months now. I think about two max, so I haven't had this for that long, but I've already hit that much pan on it. But I love the formula of this cream shadow. I heard these were really good, so I decided to try them. And this is a gorgeous shade. This is similar to Bad to the Bronze from Maybelline. There is what a swatch of it looks like. I love this. It pairs really nicely under my neutral looks. I have worn it with a pop of color on top and it looks pretty good as well. I think the rest is eyeshadows. So the first one I have is my H&M Fine China. I've already gone through two full pans of this. So this is another one that I've hit pan on and this is a nice matte creamy color and I use this to either set my eyeshadow primer or highlight my brow bone. This is a great shade and great formula. And for my fair skin, this is like the perfect brow bone color. Here's a swatch of it again. You probably can't tell that much because it probably matches my skin tone because I am so pasty right Let now. Let me give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek for my Pan That palette, but I did just post that probably a couple days ago, so I will link that up in the cards right here. That video is definitely going up before this one. But I have hit pan on a ton of shades in my Z palette, and I'm going to let you know the ones that I've hit pan since my last video. So I've hit pan on Liar Liar, Bel Air, Lil Boat, Glass Bowl, Fairy Tale and Honey Pot, which is actually all the ones that I've hit pan on in this palette. So I'm going to swatch them off camera real quick so I can show you guys what they look like. I swatched out the ColourPop ones first. So this one is Lil Boat and it is a matte. This is Bel Air. This is Liar Liar. And this one is Glass Bowl. And the only shade from these circle pans that are not ColourPop is Pink Champagne right here. And I'm probably going to hit pan on that one soon. But this is Glass Bowl, Lil Boat, Bel Air, and Liar Liar. And I love all of these shades. They're awesome. Glass Bowl is a little bit crumbly, as you can see here, which is why I hit pan on it so fast. But all of these shades are gorgeous. And now I'm going to swatch Fairy Tale and Honey Pot off camera from Too Faced. So here are the two Too Faced swatches. The top one is Fairy Tale, and then this one, the more gold one, is Honey Pot, and I love both of these shades. Fairy Tale is a really pretty inner corner highlight or lid shade, and then I love using Honey Pot on my lid. And most people did not like the Fairy Tale color from the Too Faced Natural Love palette, but I really enjoy it. It is extremely chunky and glittery, but I'm fine with that. I love glitter. So this is the shadows in my Z palette that I put pan on, also my Panda palette, so if you haven't seen that, Here's what it looks like currently, and I'm very happy with all the shades in this palette. And then the last shadows that I recently hit pan on are from my ColourPop Yes Please palette, and I hit pan on two shades in here. 
first one is note to self and I've only hit a little bit of pan on that one and then I've hit pan on butter cake and these are gorgeous shades so this is butter cake it is that really pretty gold right here and this is note to self I love the ColourPop eyeshadows so those are some of the products that I've hit pan on recently since I posted my last products I've hit pan on video let me know some of the products that you've hit pan on recently and if you guys do Instagram please let me know your Instagram handles down below especially if you post like hashtag pan porn because I love searching that hashtag so leave them down below thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video talk to you later bye